seriously, what's one of the worst things your iPhone can do to you? It can give you phone face. The only way to circumvent phone face is to get a phone grip. Over the last few months, I've tested over 20 grips to figure out which one is best. For these grips, my score included using each grip as a stand, testing its max safe compatibility, hand comfort in both horizontal and vertical planes, durability, customization, protection, card capacity, and ease of use. Number 10 goes to the Ghost Tech Loop. I like Ghost Tech. I think they're a bit underrated, but they keep coming up with products that are slightly different and usually just a little bit better, and they just kind of fly under the radar. Their loop has a few things to set it apart from other fabric-based phone grips. The first is the rigid stand, and the second is that it's, well, removable. Removing the grip allows you to mount the device in a non-MagSafe car mount a little easier. Now, I wouldn't say that this isn't a MagSafe compatible grip, but the loop is long enough that you can mount it at the bottom of the device and still let your device use certain MagSafe accessories. The only problem is that it makes your iPhone, well, off balance. Number 10 goes to the Moff Snap Plus Stand. Out of the half dozen Moth products I own, this is the only one I like, and it's got a few flavor flaws. I talk about them in my full review for this product, so do check that out. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. In general, like the design, do not like the wear and tear. Oh, and it doesn't work with certain iPhones, right, Monty? Yeah. Number eight goes to the Flip Grip, and I know some of you suggested years ago that I check out Flip Grip, and I'm sorry I haven't until now. This is a very comfortable grip. Why? Because the weight of your iPhone sits across two fingers, and the entire grip rotates to fit the angle of your hand. Now, the obvious downside of this grip is that you can't use MagSafe, even if you mount it low. The grip does offer landscape viewing, but from my perspective, it's a little unstable. One of the things I absolutely love about the Flip Grip is that they've got a leading edge on this part of the grip, and so it's really easy to open it if you've got a smaller phone with one hand. Number seven goes to the pop case. Now I was very excited to buy the pop case and use the pop case because on paper, the pop case is pretty amazing. You get good iPhone protection because it comes in a dual layer case and the pop socket usage doesn't hinder the MagSafe area. Ooh. The cherry on top of this is that the pop case can be used as a wobbly portrait stand. All those things. Great on paper, right? How about in real life? Well, the buttons are stiff, the case is really slick and glossy, and it has to be because, well, the pop socket has to slide around on the back of the case, but the finish is so slick that it actually feels kind of greasy. The case scratches easily, and because of that slick, glossy finish, you'll be constantly reminded of just how greasy you are as a human being. Number seven goes to the loopy case, and yes, I know this iPhone doesn't fit this loopy case. I don't actually know where my iPhone 13 is. I've lost it. Honestly, prior to MagSafe, this loop case was the best phone grip I had ever used. But then what happened, Monty? MagSafe came along and ruined it all. The case is very well made with lots of different designs and the loop is super comfortable. In reality, the loop is more 50% phone grip and 50% handle because there isn't a product here that I leave on my finger while I do my grocery bag farmer carries every single week. But the downside is obviously you can't use MagSafe with the loopy case. It's the first time you watch one of my videos, I encourage you to hit subscribe. If you're planning on getting a phone grip, use my links. I did not get sponsored to do this video. All these phone grips, bought by myself. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, so support me by getting your stuff through my links. Think our viewers want to know what was the worst phone grip to use? Well, it was this one. This is the Spigen Flex Grip. And this elastic is so tight that my fingers fell asleep during, well, just general usage. Like, my fingers are not that big. They're actually very average, so if something is too small for me, I could only imagine what would happen to people with bigger fingers. Every single time I do a roundup, I go to Amazon, I'm like, hey, if I'm looking for grips, I'm gonna find the best Amazon non-knockoff brand and buy it. And this time is this thing. It's a Nilkin snap grip, and I'll be honest with you, this grip is actually really good. It's a semi-permanent phone grip that's compatible with MagSafe. It's the only one in this list that does that, and I'm surprised nobody else really really does that. The snap grip offers both landscape and portrait modes, and unlike most of the phone grips, the angle isn't fixed. You can set it however you want. Handy. It's odd that not more companies do this. Now the grip is a little awkward to use as there's two joints to deal with, and if you don't fold it properly, it doesn't lay flat. The loop itself is metallic, so it's gonna feel like a guillotine against your fingers. Now the pain isn't as bad as normal loops, like the anchor magnetic ring, as you can adjust the location of where the guillotine sits on your finger, but eventually it's gonna start to hurt. After a while, no matter what you do, trying to put this thing into this hole, is it's just not gonna feel good. Number four goes to the Love Handle Pro, and it's the last non-MagSafe phone grip in this video. This is one of the most comfortable grips to use. The band is wide, loose enough to fit two fingers, and best of all, it's customizable. The Pro also functions as a stand for both landscape and portrait modes, and if you've got restless fingers, you've got a fidget toy. But obviously, semi-permanent mounts, it's not gonna work with MagSafe. Sorry, 
Number three goes to the Magback Wallet. And when it comes to MagSafe wallets, the Magback Wallet is actually one of the best. It's comfortable and has one of the highest card carrying capacities out of all the wallets that I've tested. One of the problems that I've had with other fabric loops is that it hurts my fingers when my fingers are in the loop. But with the Magback, you can actually adjust the size of the hole. You can remove some of the stitching so you can fit more than one finger in the loop, which kind of stops the hurting. One of the cons that I notice is that the magnetic strength isn't as strong as our top picks, but it's really nothing to be worried about. Now the Magback Wallet is great on its own, but becomes even better if you pair it with the Magback case because this allows you to use your iPhone in both landscape and portrait modes and each case comes with mag strips which can be used basically anywhere like in your car or any other place you need to hang your iPhone. This entire case system is just very handy. This is just a family reminder. Get yourself through my Amazon links. Reviewer, not influencer. Number two goes to the Pop grip. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of like the standalone pop socket things, but the pop grip, because it is removable and I can use it with other, I can use my iPhone with other MagSafe accessories. Like it just, this is the perfect MagSafe phone grip. Perfect. The best part about it all is it just, it just works. My phone feels secure while using the grip and it's easy to take it off when I don't need it. Being able to customize each grip is really the cherry on top of this MagSafe phone grip Sunday. There really isn't much I can complain about this grip. It just works. The only thing I've noticed from my usage over the last year is the finish on the back side is starting to come off. Now, before we get to number one, there are a couple of upcoming grips that I'm still trying to source. The first are the two grips from Rhino Show, the Grip Mini and the Grip Max. I'm still waiting for my pre-orders to ship and at first glance, I love the customization option, but I really don't like that it's semi-permanent. That means you can't use MagSafe. Now Flip Grip, who came in at number eight, is actually on this list and they contacted us. I was looking through our orders and recognized your name on the list. Been subscribed to your YouTube channel for a while and love your reviews. Releasing a new version of the product in a few weeks with some design updates as well as packaging. So that's exciting to hear. Again, reviewer not influencer. I buy all these things. And the number one phone grip is, well, the pop grip crushed every single category except for one, which is the wallet portion. So the Pop Wallet Plus, that is the best phone grip that you can get for your iPhone. You get almost the best of the pop grip, but you get a wallet that can hold three to four cards easily and access is just really easy. Now I say almost the best of the pop grip because the magnetic connection between the phone grip and the pop wallet isn't as strong. It's still better than products like Moth, but it's far from being a deal breaker. Like honestly, it blows my mind how impressed I am with stuff that works. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. If there's a product you want me to check out, let me know. Uh, what else can they do, Monty? Oh yeah, subscribe to the channel and help us out by buying stuff through our links. See ya.